forward. And now, here's your man of the half hour, Skip D. Lowe. Michael, uh, New Jersey. Yeah. Is that where you're really from? Yes, I am really from really New Jersey. Really from New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. I went to New York. Did you, uh, would you, you went to the actor's studio right away? Is that it? When you, what made Michael J. Pollard get into acting? Well, Skippy, I was really lucky. I came right off the street and started acting right away. Nobody could believe it. Uh -huh. I, I started, yeah. You didn't, you didn't study at all immediately? Well, I studied with Lee Strauss. After, right. Well, I could probably, at the same time, I came. <coughs> yeah, but you were in classes with Marilyn Monroe. Yes, good. Paul Newman. Yeah. Come on. George Mahalis. George, George Mahalis. Okay, George. But George E. Scott, what happened about that, that play you did? Well, that was, uh, <coughs> comes a day with George C. E. Scott. <coughs> right. And Judith Anderson. Mm -hmm. Very big crowd pleaser at the actor's studio. Everybody went to see it. Did they? Yeah. Was it exciting for Michael J. Pollard to be on the same stage with uh, George E. Scott? Yeah, and Joe Papp was the stage manager. Uh-huh. Was it, well, I was his roommate. You were? Yeah. How long were you in Germany? Well, up in Boston at the Terrain Hotel and, uh... Terrain? Uh -huh. and it's it's a theatrical hotel. Yeah. I know that hotel. And then down in the village room, you lived with Colleen. Uh-huh. So. You had fun in those days? Uh -huh. Looking back, yeah. Those, he had a lot of fun in those days, Michael? Yeah, I guess you might say that. My salad days. Uh-huh. But, Skip did you tell me... Go ahead. Go ahead. The actor's studio. Yes. Lee Strasberg, the method. Did you think that turned the whole generation of uh, actors like James Dean and Brando, mm -hmm. Michael J. Pollard, mm -hmm. Charlie me. Winters? Charlie Winters, yes. Let's tell me about that, those days. I mean, you really changed the whole thing of acting. I know. It was very exciting in those days. There was an electricity in the air. Like what? Well, just like... At that time, there's, you know, play on Broadway, there was plays like, you know, Death of a Salesman, Streetcar. Right. Death of a Salesman, Streetcar. And Night of the Iguana, Shelley and Betty Davis. All these people, they yeah, were... That's right. Would you consider Betty Davis a method? No, she was not. She was Betty Davis. Betty Davis' eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Betty Davis' eyes. Yeah. I like that. Michael J. Pollard, tell me, what's the play that you mostly enjoy doing First in New York. On Broadway? On Broadway. Well, I like... Because you did Bye Bye Birdie. Yeah. That's the musical. Yes. With, uh, who was that? Dick Van Dyke. Dick Van Dyke and Rivera. Tell me about that. Tell me about that. Well, that ran two years. And I, when I auditioned, I, I, uh... Well, I met Charles uh, Strauss, the writer in Downey's, in the men's room. And he said, can you sing? I said, just like Frank Sinatra. <laughs> so I auditioned. I sang the song from Guys and Dolls. In the bathroom? Sue me. That song, Sue me. <laughs> Yeah. I love it. And, and, in the men's room. And Gower Champion. And I came to the audition in a black shirt and a white tie like Frank from Black Suit. Uh -huh. And all. And they hired me. I was a juvenile league. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that on Broadway. I had little lifts up my shoes. Uh -huh. like that then, Dyke was great in that, wasn't he? Oh, yeah. God. He was really neat. And then in the series. Yeah, that allowed the series. From yeah. That, did it? Well, remember what Mary Tyler was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, but New York was great those days. Those days, oh, yeah. God, the excitement. You know why it was great? Right? Why? We had American plays and American musicals. Yeah. No English. No, no. we did. We had... Uh, Think about it, Michael. Mm. Am I right? Yeah. It was America. Yeah, but, and then when an English play would come in, like, a, you know, like a Brendan Bean play or something like that, it was really special. Right, 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 right. What did you actually learn looking... At after Studio. What did you, Michael J. Pollard, learn at the After Studio? Could you share something with that audience out there? What would you say you have learned from Lee Strausberg, his technique? Mm. What is it all about? Method, actor. Method what? Actor. Yeah, tell me. Well, the way Lee was teaching it, it was kind of like, you know, your body is like a violin, you know, <clears throat> or a piano. And it could be like, you could, could, your body could be like a Stradivarius, but if it's out of tune, Nobody's gonna know, right? Or if you're wearing a two thousand dollar suit in no time, nobody's gonna know. So <clears throat> it was like to tune up your instrument, right? Speak up. <laughs> so, <laughs> Speak up, right? That's what it was. 
Michael, mm. Bonnie and Clyde, you yes. have got to do something. What? How did you get that role? That role, that wonderful role. Well, I'm Warren on. Beatty. You did something before with Warren? Lots of roses. William and John on Broadway. Yeah. So you, yeah. Warren had a lot to do with Michael J. Pollard's career then, huh? Yeah, well, we did Dobie Gillis out here, too. And Tuesday, Will played his girlfriend. And he was the most handsomest guy in the graduating class. <laughs> and I was Maynard Krebs' cousin. Uh-huh. I remember that. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you enjoy doing those days at the Dolby Gillis shows and all that? Yeah. Yes, I did, Skippy. Did you? Now my acting is like, remember Charlie Parker? His yeah. arm became like his uh, extension of his arm. Uh -huh. Well, that's how my acting instrument is now. Your instrument is wonderful, Michael. You know what I loved in Bonnie and Clyde? I was in Germany in the theater, and I saw Bonnie and Clyde. I was working entertaining the troops there in Frankfurt, and, yeah. and there it was on the screen. I went to see it, and boy, did I see your face on that screen. I said, wow, what a great, I've never seen you before. Yeah. Oh, I was in Germany then, too. I was doing Hannibal right? Brooks. Oh, really? Michael Winner and uh -huh. Al Uh-huh. They said, go see yourself. You know, so some guy was talking in German. Uh -huh. Does you? Does. <laughs> <laughs> you had a special look. Special look. Steve. You have that special, is that what Hollywood at that time needed and is looking for? Today, they just look for good-looking guys. Yeah. Good-looking girls, good-looking guys. That special look of Hollywood. Yeah. That unique individuality. They, what's what's happening with that day? Gee. Come on. Well, Jerry. Skippy. That's the way you know when Jerry Wald was like the head of the studios and stuff. Now you know, it's neat. I think it's neat. Like Tom Cruise is neat and uh, Julie Roberts. Uh, They're all good-looking. They're all yeah. every guy's good-looking. There's no James Cagney, Humphrey Bogarts. These oh, guys yeah. were all individual personalities. Yeah. Clark Gables, that you, you know, you know what I mean? I know what you're saying. What do we do about it? What do we do about this in, in Hollywood? Move I mean, people don't have any stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what do we do about this? Yeah. You know, there are great faces like yourself. Yeah. Yes. I think you're a chameleon actor, though. You can do everything. Yeah. You've done Shakespeare, have you? And, well, in class. In class? At the Actors Studio? Well, where were we? Did you study somewhere else than the actor's studio? Josh Shelley, remember Josh Shelley? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. I studied with him. Then I studied, when I first came, I studied with Herbert Berghoff, when that used to be on 6th Avenue in New uh -huh. York, in 23rd uh -huh. Street. Uh -huh. Yeah, Lee Grant was my teacher. Great Shelley director, great actress. She's yeah. now I understand. She's a great director. Yeah, Skippy. What's happening with uh, Michael J. Pollard right now? You finished a film called Dick Tracy. Yeah. And it's coming out with Madonna, and you're also in the video, I understand. I am. In the video scene? I think you're in the video, too, aren't you? Maybe so. Yeah, story. I think so, the scene in the video. But yeah. I'd love to see a clip from that uh, new movie of yours. It's, uh, they're making such a hype of this Dick Tracy. Have you seen it? Yeah. Part of it, Skippy. Yeah. What do you think? What's oh, that's really Does good. It? Funny. It is? Primary color. Can we take a look at the clip? I'd sure. love to see the clip of this new movie called Dick Tracy with Michael J. Pollard. 